beautiful. Oh wow, Border Road killed it, man. Hello, friends, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in again. Another episode of the Backyard Warrior. Today, we have a special delivery. I ordered this package from Porter Road. It's a, a butcher shop, online butcher shop. I've seen a few YouTubers give meat from them and a lot of people are praising them. So I went ahead and ordered some short ribs from them. So I got this yesterday. It was in the fridge overnight. And uh, today we're gonna unbox it to see what's inside, all right? First layer is foam. Oh, dry, dry eye. Nice so far. Paper. And there we go. Dry age line of ribs. From what I can see, I think these are already trimmed, cleaned. There's a lot of meat on these. So, uh, so far, so good. Packaging is good. And, uh, yeah, these guys did a good job shipping these dino ribs. Oh yeah, there's more dry ice in the bottom. Good touch. Good packaging. Very happy with it. So I used all my scraps and ugly pieces of wood that I have, not good looking pieces of wood to start this fire. Some of them are dense, big, and some kindling. Looks don't matter, it's gonna burn anyway. Once this is uh, settled, we move things around and we start cooking. So, here's the, my ribs. I'm gonna open this bag. So these came pre-trimmed already. Porter Road me did a good job on that. You know, they took off the membrane and everything. I mean, left a little bit of fat. We need that. Silver skin, I'm not bothering taking that off. So actually, I'm not gonna do anything for these. They did all the job for me. Thank you, Porter Road. We just have to season these and let them sit here until the smoker comes up to temp. Okay, marbling is excellent down here, if you can see this. Marbling is great. I don't see any grade on this uh, plate, but uh, that could easily be a prime grade, if you look at all this. So today for this cook, I'm using a, an all-purpose rub. This has salt, pepper, herbs, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, a dash of cumin in it for the flavor. So we're gonna apply this liberally. It's a big piece of meat. It can take all the seasoning and pat it in like this. Like 
like this we have a good rub I mean a good <coughs> bark so here it is maybe a little bit on this side all right my plates are seasoned and ready for the smoker nice rub made a couple slits between the bones for a nice pullback and this is what we got right here beautiful couple plates we're gonna smoke today on the workhorse pit 1975 we're gonna smoke with oak wood and we're gonna smoke at 250 275 maybe wrap maybe not we'll find out all right all right now that we have a nice core bed i'm gonna start cooking this thing took maybe 30 40 minutes to get to this stage a right, beautiful day here in central florida <laughs> perfect day for cooking let's do a little bit of a, it's easy to clean these grates when they're hot all right here's what we're working with today nice plates gonna put one let me do this i guess one on this side probably do this side here yeah that's good all right this will sit here for a few hours we'll come back and check see what's going on after three four hours i'll put a couple logging in there just nestle it here this will give us maybe 45 minutes an hour of cooking i'm using oak today and this should be good All right, white smoke cleared. Now we can close this door. Leave this halfway open and get cooking. Still cooking at 250. I'm gonna check on this meat. Three hours in, and a little bit of a pullback. Oh, fat is rendering nice. Bark is forming. Everything is looking good. This one pullback is nice here as well. Fat is getting softer. And it's rendering very well. Part of the bark is good as well. Yeah, little separation, but we're gonna fix that. Nice pullback. All right, just gonna put this one in the back here. This one on this side. So far, ribs looking good. Cook going good. Three hours in, and we're gonna let it finish cook for another three four hours before we check on it again okay all right so <clears throat> nine hours in at 250 ribs i think they're done <laughs> they're gonna do a probe test oh yeah no resistance at all look at that almost 200 this one is done actually both of them are done i'm gonna pull them out at 199 198 bark is excellent but these ribs nice pull back nice color fat rendered very good same thing on this one here nice bark as well pull back I think 
these this one didn't have any membrane on it that's why we have clean bones here this one has a little bit it's still intact a little bit but so uh, I think these are finished I'm gonna rest them for maybe an hour before we dig into them okay All right, meat rested for a little bit. All right. Yeah, this is good. I guess let's do this one. I'm gonna cut this one right here. We cut it from here. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Nice smoke ring. Juicy. All the fat rendered very well. But this is our beef rib right here. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is beautiful, man. This is nice. Mm, the bark on this side here, very crunchy. Mm, oh wow. Poor road killed it, man. This is some nice beef. Dry age. I think this is prime. I could be wrong, but the marbling on it was exceptional. This is the other one right here. This thing is the fat around it is just crazy. Got all this bark right here. This cook took nine hours. We start with two plates, season them with all purpose rub. No trimming needed. Poor road did excellent job in these and shipping and trimming. I give him 10 out of 10, man. And the dry aging help a lot with the flavor. So definitely buy in again from Port Road. With that being said, this is it for this one. Thank you for tuning in again. Please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. It helps a great deal. Until the next one, bye-bye. And stay safe.